Uh, folks, we're going to break into this press conference uh, by the mayor of New York, Rudy Giuliani, too, because we've got some breaking news. Leon Harris here at the CNN Center Atlanta, but we're going down to Washington, D.C., where our Kelly Reed is standing by. She's got some breaking news on the identities of those 18 hijackers. Kelly, take it away. Well, Leon, uh, we did uh, manage, CNN did manage to grab a, a list of, of names of, of the 18 uh, suspected hijackers that uh, is supposed to be officially released by justice sometime later today. I will uh, do my best to read, to read the names. Some are um, a bit unfamiliar. Um, on American Flight 11, um, first name Walid Al Sherry. Um, the second, um, Well. Al Sherry, also known as Walid Al Sherry. Now we do know a little bit about him. He held a U.S. and Saudi Arabian driver's license. He had his passport uh, from the United Arab Emirates. Um, his latest residences include Daytona Beach, Florida, and um, not too far from here in Washington, Vienna, Virginia. And he also attended a U.S. flight school um, in Florida, Embry Riddle. Third name, Mohammed Atta. We also have information. On him, he uh, held U.S. and Egyptian driver's license, his passport also from the United Arab Emirates. He was also um, an attendant at U.S. flight schools, Huffman Aviation in Venice, Florida, and Sim Center in Opelika. Um, and he rented a car that was later found at Boston's Logan Airport. Um, Abdul Alamari and Satam Sugami. Marwan al Shehi also um, on the list. He... Um, as well, the, they're, they're looking an awful lot alike here, Leon. Um, Marwan al uh, a United UAE passport. Fayez Ahmed Mohalt al Sherhi, Hamza al Gamdi, Amdad al Gamdi. Let me stop here for a moment. We have a few more names to read. Um, the way this is working out is there were five hijackers on two planes, four hijackers on two other. We are told by law enforcement sources that most of these names in some way connect um, in some way to indirectly or directly to Osama bin Laden. Uh, continuing on, uh, United Airlines flight number 93, Ahmad al-Haznawi, Ahmed al-Nami, Ziad Jarad, and Saeed al-Gamdi. American Airlines flight number 77, Khalid Al-Midar, Majed Mokhed, Nawaf Al-Hazmi, and Salem Al-Hazmi. Um, so similar last names here, perhaps they were brothers. We were told by investigators that they were looking for um, relatives, brothers, as somehow interconnected. Now, of course, all these people presumed dead. Uh, they, were, they were on those flights. They were the hijackers. The real focus of this investigation, Leon, now is using these names and jumping forward. Let's figure out the network. The FBI is trying to figure out the network involved here. What other associates, what other terrorist cells there may be in the United States that are at work. Uh, we also know that there were uh, terrorist cells identified in Hamburg, Germany. Um, that, that there are investigations going on there. So uh, this, is, this is a good starting point. Again, this list not officially released yet by the Justice Department. We obtained uh, this list of names through sources. Leon? Well, it may not be officially released by the Justice Department, but it's about to be officially released by CNN. As I'm, I'm just now learning from our producers that this entire list is going to be available on CNN.com. So folks out there in the audience, if you would like to see the names that are on this list, the 18 names that officials are now... Are, will be officially saying at some point this morning or sometime today are the, uh, the, uh, the suspects that they expect, that they believe were on the planes themselves and died in the crashes. Those names will be available on CNN.com. Kelly, before we let you go, is there any other information being released aside from the names? Uh, is there any information, for instance, about where they have been, where they came from, if they have been residing here in the, U in the U.S. before this incident? Any other well, information like that? Well, besides the information that we gave you, we do know that many of them have trained um, and were licensed pilots, trained at U.S. flight schools and were licensed pilots. Uh, and we, uh, we do know that many of them either resided together um, at various locations here in the U.S., many in, in Florida, um, I said one here in Virginia. But the, we do have some more on the, the ongoing investigation, Leon, um, if you're curious. We, have, um, we did tell you uh, last night that we, we had several people that were arrested at New York airports at both JFK and LaGuardia. Well, we are told now that after intense questioning by FBI members of the Joint Terrorism Task Force that all but one of those uh, people has been released. Uh, we also know that in Miami's um, 
airport. Uh, sources say that uh, law enforcement detained several people there. One woman was uh, seen walking into the airport in civilian clothing, went into the restroom, came out in a, in a, a flight attendant uniform. She was with a man who also had a flight attendant uniform. When they were approached by authorities, they ran. Mm -hmm. But they were captured and they are now being questioned. And uh, we also know that the U.S. Coast Guard uh, has boarded a Carnival Cruise Line uh, ship off the coast of Miami um, earlier today. They detained two people who uh, authorities describe um, as having a history of hijacking. Uh, according to uh, law enforcement sources, that ship was boarded at 3 a.m. after the passenger list was checked by authorities. So this manhunt continues, Leon, around the country. And let me ask you one final question, if I may. You said, going back to the case in New York, you said it was 10 or 11 that had been detained originally and only one now is still being detained? Well, uh, we. I our sources, last night had said at, at, at least eight people okay. had been detained, um, and, and that number has gone back and forth. But they were questioned. They have been released, right, except but, for one. But the question is, is that one believed to be in any way uh, linked to the incidents that happened Tuesday? It's very early to tell, Leon, um, in this investigation. Uh, sometimes there, there's a suspected link, but the, many times it proves to be nothing. Understood. And I think that law enforcement has yet to determine that for themselves. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Kelly Arena, thank you very much for getting that list to us.